What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about the truth about The Last Jedi. Now here's the deal with The Last Jedi. I don't care if you like the movie. I don't care if you're defending the movie as long as you're defending the movie for the right reasons and not the social justice reasons that it seems that the majority of The Last Jedi defenders and the sequel trilogy defenders defend this current version of Star Wars. That's what they seem to defend is the social justice element and they always fall back on the bullshit argument that the people don't that don't like it are intimidated by women, all that crap. If you have that argument, you are irrelevant to me. You mean absolutely nothing to me. I stepped on a pile of dog shit today that is worth more than your existence. So if you're making that argument, that's what you are to me. You mean absolutely nothing. Now, I do know a few people, a few people, that genuinely liked The Last Jedi that were Star Wars fans uh, prior to The Last Jedi. And that's fine. Look, I like bad movies too. And as long as you can acknowledge that you like a bad movie, I don't really see a problem with that. But when you start acting like the bad movie that you like is actually a great movie or an all-time great movie, or you don't understand the overall perspective of what's going on, that The Last Jedi is a terrible, terrible Star Wars movie, and it has destroyed the mythology, it's destroyed the past and the future of Star Wars, which is exactly what Ryan Johnson wanted to do. That is the truth about it. Now, we have uh, this, uh, this is from Data Racer, at Data Racer 117 on Twitter. Shout out to him for posting this because I wasn't, I, I, maybe I'd heard this particular soundbite in the past, but I don't recall. But I will say that I have heard from people very, very credible people that have told me the same exact thing that Kyle Newman says in this soundbite. So this is Kyle Newman. He is the director of Fanboys. If you are watching this video and you don't know what Fanboys is, I don't know what you're doing. But Fanboys is an amazing film based on the uh, prequel trilogy and the lead into it. It's a comedy. You need to watch it anyway. The point is, I want to listen to this soundbite, and we're going to talk about it a little more. So let's listen to Kyle Newman talk about The Last Jedi. You look at Last Jedi, I, I honestly, I don't know anybody out here, maybe two people in my life, and hundreds of people I've talked to that like the movie. All the filmmakers I know that won't talk about it publicly, all the people I know internally, there's all these people that won't, even journalists that gave it positive reviews, are like, I do that because I need to maintain my access. Like, privately... There's a lot of people that and really I, don't like I think that film. The, the thing about it too, though, so you're that. saying the ones but, who gave also, it good reviews also, really are phony reviews. But the, but the other thing too is, is just the fact that like, you know, it should be... I can't name them, but yes. No, uh, well, of course. Yes. So, 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 so that is so telling and it's not that surprising if you're actually paying attention to what's going on. It's not that surprising. Now... I do not think that there, I've heard this accusation and I want to be crystal clear about this. Um, I 100% do not believe that there is an exchange of money for good reviews. I don't, I don't believe that. Maybe you do and that's fine, but I don't. What I do believe is that there is uh, people that are scared to give certain films bad reviews because they feel that that's going to uh, make them lose their access to inside information or to premieres or things like that. That I 100% believe, and there's no doubt about th that. That there's no doubt about it that that goes on in Hollywood. There's no doubt about it, and you definitely want to stay in Disney's good graces if that's what you're in the game for. I'm not in it for that. Disney can they can kiss my ass when it comes to going to their premieres, going to see early movies, getting early access, whatever. I'll spend my money to go see it just like anybody else. Just because we have a YouTube channel now that's got a following, it doesn't mean that I get I should get special perks. Disney, you can kiss my ass when it comes to giving me special access. I don't want your media passes when it comes to Star Wars Celebration. I don't want your media credentials when it comes to seeing movies early. I have no desire for that whatsoever. But if somebody is all about that, where they can go take pictures on the red carpet, take pictures and post at the Instagram and show how important they are, take their friends, take their family, take the take a girl, you know, to impress the girl, whatever. If that's what they're all about, they're going to say whatever they need to say to stay in these movie studios' good graces. There's no doubt about that. And if you don't believe that's going on, 
then you clearly have your head in the sand and you are not paying attention. And you can go ahead and, and live in the utop utopia that you've created for yourself. But Kyle Newman is basically saying people in the industry, the majority of the people in the industry that he knows don't like The Last Jedi. It's not a good movie. And it's not a good movie. It's objectively not a good movie from a Star Wars standpoint. Now, if you want to argue that it's a good movie out, if you say it's not a good, if you say it's a good movie outside of the Star Wars universe, I don't know. It's hard for me to judge that. I think that the movie has, is visually stunning. I think it has some beautiful shots. And uh, I do think like Adam Driver's acting is really good in the movie. Um, but that's neither here nor there. It's a Star Wars movie, and it's a bad Star Wars movie. It's an awful Star Wars movie for so many reasons. And so many people will not admit this publicly because they are scared to upset Disney. And that is a reality that goes on in this business right now. So that is the truth of The Last Jedi. It's not a good movie. The majority of people within the industry do not like the movie, and the people that are giving it all these great raving reviews are basically just trying to keep their access to Disney. That is exactly what's going on here. Now, if you don't believe me, then I'm not really sure we can continue having a conversation because you are not someone that's actually paying attention to what's going on. You live in the world where just because you think something is good for whatever reason, you think everybody thinks that. That's just not what's going on. I don't know why people can't have perspective outside of their own. I like a lot of movies that a lot of people do not like. For crying out loud, I like Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I mean, am I going to sit here and tell you, well, Mortal Kombat Annihilation is, is loved by the majority of people? No, no, there's maybe 10 people on the planet that like that movie, and I'm one of them. And I'm fully self-aware enough to understand that I'm in the smallest of minorities when it comes to liking that movie. And I have my own personal reasons for liking that movie, but I'm not saying it's a good movie. These people that are defending The Last Jedi, the majority of them are in it for the social justice element, and they're trying to say that the people that didn't like it are intimidated by diversity and women. And those types of people are useless. They are they are worse than useless. Actually, calling them useless is disrespectful to the word useless. That's what those people are to me. So what do you guys think of Kyle Newman's comments? It's pretty obvious to me. I don't really know how anybody can argue against a professional in the industry who, why would Kyle Newman say this? If it wasn't true, like what, what is his motivation behind saying this? It's obvious. And I've heard this from other credible people that have told me the same exact thing that the heavy majority of people within the industry do not like this movie, but they do not want to go public with it. And that is something that I was worried about at the beginning of the year when I was still trying to convince myself that I like this stupid ass movie when the reality of it was, I didn't. And I finally had to wake up and stop lying to myself. And when I went public telling everybody how I didn't like The Last Jedi and all the identity politics, I was really worried. I'm like, this could be bad for me. I don't know. Obviously, it was a good decision, but at the time, I didn't know. So I would urge anybody out there, if you hate The Last Jedi, speak up about it. It's time to speak up. Star Wars is more important than your media credentials right now. Speak up. Help save Star Wars, help expose Ryan Johnson, Kathleen Kennedy, and Disney and everything they have done to Star Wars. Everybody needs to speak up. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.